A new Corvette has to look like a Corvette. That's, that's the, the most important key. But within that proportional envelope, we really wanted to make some game-changing moves on the car. The new design, in some ways, is a far more international design. It's, a, in many ways, a very exotic design, true to Corvette roots, but it's like it is, is grown up in, in many ways, in a very positive way. The stance is now wider. The roof is lower, uh, but without taking any interior space away. The wheelbase is a little bit longer. We've just kind of taken what is Corvette and made it longer, lower, wider. With the taut, stretched muscles that it has, and it's very international flair that it has, and at the core, it is obviously Corvette. From end to end, you know what it is when you see it. It's exciting to drive and it's exciting to look at. And I think what we've done is we've taken some of that excitement and put that into the interior of the car. Well, ultimately for a sports car like the Corvette, it's all about the driving experience. You're one with the vehicle. Everything feels instantaneously responsive and very connected. There are two seats available on the new Corvette. One is called a GT seat. It's a all-around sports car seat, so uh, it's great for back road driving or for long distances. And then we have for people that are more focused on track driving, we have the competition sports seat, which has extra, extra support for lateral acceleration and really worthy of the type of performance you can get with this, this car. I think every customer that sees this vehicle for the first time, the interior is going to be awestruck. All of the materials are very high-end, very refined, and very authentic. So there's genuine carbon fiber, genuine aluminum, um, cut and sew, leather wrapped trim that really gives this feeling of craftsmanship to the interior. We did this design and at first everybody was so afraid when they saw it, they didn't know how we were going to be able to manufacture it, they didn't know how we were going to engineer it. And we had to do some significant innovation in how we assemble the parts and how we adjust them at the assembly plant to get that perfect fit on every vehicle. And when you get inside, it is spectacular. And the people see it on the street and they say, wow, look at that, I, I really want to have that. This Corvette, more than any other Corvette in the history of the brand, is the best of everything. It's a whole multitude of things and every single one of them is better about the car. Drives better, rides better, has better structure, better fuel economy, um, better appearance. From exterior design, interior design, quality, the performance of the vehicle, the handling of the vehicle, the braking of the vehicle, the aerodynamics, the, the sum of all this is spectacular. I love it. I, I, it wow, this car is cool. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. This is the new Corvettes. Well, tonight is, of course, another night in the incredible journey of the American sports car called Corvette. Tonight, we celebrate the introduction of the seventh generation, or C7, as we call it, right here in the Motor City. For 60 years, Corvette has represented the state of the art in performance cars. To put it simply, this car is the reason I work at General Motors. As a young boy, I spent many car trips hunched in the back of the mid 60s car riding with my dad. On many Saturdays, my dad took me to work in the Chevrolet Engineering Building. And on the way home, I made him promise to take me by the research lab where they had the Firebird and the newest Corvette. I, like many of my coworkers, want to work for the company that makes Corvette. Its presence, its performance, its history and heritage, everything it stands for has always raised the hair on the back of my neck. And I know that I am not the only one in this room who feels that way. Since 1953, through the good times and through the bad times for this company, there was always Corvette demonstrating what it means to win, to be the best, and now, as we continue to bolster Chevrolet's best lineup ever, here comes the best Corvette ever. This car is all new from the ground up, and it is absolutely the best performance car that we know how to engineer and build. I will eagerly put this car up against any of the top performance cars in the world. In terms of design, technology, and performance, this car is second to none. And it is obtainable. It is so dramatic and special that we thought it deserved some extra recognition. That's why we're calling it, once again, the Corvette Stingray. First used on the 1959 Stingray Racer, then in 63 on what may be the most memorable series of models in its history, this is the name we only use to mark special generations of Corvettes. And C7 is indeed that special. Right now, I'd like to ask two individuals responsible for this transformation to join me here on stage. Please welcome GM's Vice President of Global Design, Mr. Ed Welburn. <laughs> 